finally made it to the airport for the layover city that I'm really excited about. Running into some problems because uh, the van that was for us is now taking a crew that was rerouted, rescheduled, so we have to wait. Um, but we're waiting for it right now. Hopefully they'll get here in a second. Uh, I want to start this layover right now, right now. City, baby. Uh, I'm ready to get out there and explore. I don't have anything necessarily that I really want to do, but I just want to get out there. There's roller skating there. That might be fun. So I'm in Houston, and this is a city that's been on my list of places to go to for a while. I only have, not only, it's 17 hours here, so that's a good amount for a layover, but um, probably need to come back here for a full weekend. For some reason, Houston's just fascinating to me. It's like a massive, massive city. Um, it's freaking uh, the fifth, the fourth largest city in the United States, and it is kind of like urban sprawl. It's not like um, New York, DC, Boston, Philly, where it's kind of all packed together. It's a Texas city, everything's spread out, people like their land, but it seems, I think it's like one of the most diverse cities ethnically in the country. So I would love to, you know, just explore the area. It seems so fascinating. Houston is kind of on the water. Um, so whatever, um, I'm excited about Houston. I'm gonna go out there, walk around, see what I can see. But obviously I think I need to come back here when I have more time. <laughs> Beautiful day out here for sure. 82 degrees. Just walked through a park. Got families out there doing their thing. Some activities. Some roller skating. I haven't roller skated in a minute. Might have to go back there myself. But I think I'm walking to a food hall. Like I said, I'm super hungry. I'm gonna get some food right into me. It's like a 13 minute walk from here. Um, so I'm gonna walk through the city to this spot. Let's eat. Let's eat. That's kind of cool, nice little modern-esque staircase going up to a skywalk. And that building over there looks kind of cool. Didn't realize that was here in Houston. Architecture was a kind of a cool thing, but basically it looks like we're in the central business district and it's pretty empty right now, uh, but I'm walking to the food. Bring me the food, please. Old timey buildings over there. looks like there's a little bit of a dome right there, kind of a tower. Right there, I love me some architecture, like looking at, um, you know, different things. I know a lot of people don't really comment about architecture. Some people do. It's got a new glass building, hotel over there, pretty nice. Got your lower tiered layers right here, smaller buildings here, okay. Food still this way, I'm making my way there. There's that building up close, interesting, kind of cool. Got that slender part right there, then they got those staircase in the middle. This one has no buildings. I feel like it's a little, not necessarily a prison, but like a jail holding before prison. Might be a courtyard around here. Um, still walking, I'm gonna take a left turn up here at some point. All right, so the underground hall is where I'm trying to go. I think it might be a food hall. I didn't really look at it. I just heard hall and it looked like they have a bunch of different places in there, so. 
I'm about to come check it out, see how it is. Oh, oh. in hand of course i'm gonna take it from underground to outer ground and i'm about to smash on this right here this looks pretty good i'm not sure if i'll stop by but looks good burria queso taco melted cheese burria some sauce music above my voice That is hot sauce, and that is spicy, man. Sounds like it's a party lounge or something going on in there. A lot of people hanging out in the courtyard, I guess. But I'm moving on this way to some restaurant that I found online, another food spot. So let's go. That queso taco was okay. Um, there was melty cheese and tender meat. The flavor wasn't necessarily, oh wow, that is loud. But yeah, the um, queso tacos are okay. You got melted cheese and some tender meat, but the flavor wasn't necessarily my favorite. The, I like the freshness of the onions. The hot sauce is just too hot, um, but um, nothing really too exciting. Um, found a Vietnamese spot on the internet. Looks kind of cool. It's called the Blind Pig, I believe. So I'm going to try to find that right now. I've seen a lot of Houston murals since I've been here. That was in the airport too. I saw some other ones. It seems like they like to have some art around here. It looks like there's another park or whatnot over there but i'm gonna check out that food spot then i might go over here real quick So I'm actually at another food hall to go to this Vietnamese and Korean spot and this is a, like I said, another food hall. Apparently the apple pie that I'm getting, Gordon Ramsay said it's pretty good. It's actually going to take a half an hour so I'm just going to walk around after I get my rice and come back and get it. Um, but um, yeah, so hopefully this fried rice is going to be good. I've been wanting to get brisket for a minute. Um, I'll probably have brisket tonight too for breakfast because when in Texas get Vietnamese food maybe and when you're in Houston and brisket so I'm gonna wait for it, I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna order right here. Now I'm at this little park, gonna find some place in the shade and maybe away from people to eat. Looks like there's a food stall over here, man. So there's a lot of outdoor food stuff and whatnot. So let me find a place, safe place to eat brisket fried rice and then some fancy apple pie that's supposed to have a fish sauce caramel it's starting these fish sauce caramel but they ran out of it i went back to ask him about it and they're like oh yeah we're out of it so uh he gave me a refund from from it i guess the person who took my order didn't really know or tell me so i'm glad i got my money back but i'm sure this will be pretty good this is really good fluffy the meat is tender got some eggs in there wow this is actually quite quite really good 
this part right here reminds me of like Bourbon Street or whatever. Got the, you know, patios out there. Looks like those could be bars. Not interested in that, but I'm about to start my walk again. That fried rice was good, but on to see more of Houston. All right, I saw a pretty mural that I wanted a picture of. I saw some people standing there, so I played Nice Boy Nick. I mean, I'm always nice, but took a picture of them. They took a picture of me. So let me show you those shots right about now. Looks like another one of those New Orleans style buildings with the patio wrapped around. Maybe that's a Southern plantation style or who knows, but still in the central business district. I don't want to go that way because it looks like there's nothing much going on, but I'm gonna take my way over here. Not necessarily sure what's down here, but it's the way that I'm going. I think that light's trying to say something. I think it's trying to say something. I don't see anything. You're under construction. What's going on? What's going on? like I'm coming up to some type of a uh, river walk right here. Kind of cute kind of trail here. That uh, aquarium right there is super packed. People are trying to get in, do their thing. There's people outside. Looks like there's people on the balcony or whatever, but here's a trail. I guess I should have gotten one of those scooters, huh? But whatever river this is, I'm walking down. Could see the city earlier from where I was. Um, the trees are covering that right now, but once I get over this spot, you'll be able to see one of the iconic buildings right there, this tapered building right there. I don't know what it's called, but I've seen that before on the Houston skyline before. And a lot of people out here today. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> So I've been sitting here looking at traffic for a little bit because it seems like there's gets a little bit of congestion right around here in those middle lanes. For some reason, they're just slowing down and I can't necessarily see what's happening right there. But at this point, they just kind of just slow down. And I see a bunch of open space in between all these cars. So I don't really know why they're going so slow, but obviously, if this building wasn't there, I could probably figure it out. But, you know, I've just been sitting here for a minute just looking at this area, critiquing it, thinking, oh, maybe they could have put a parking garage in there and use more space over there for some housing. There's, a, I think, the soccer stadium right there. It doesn't seem like there's any, like, entertainment or anything for them to stay around afterwards. But it looks like there's housing, housing, and housing around there, and then just some... Looks like there's like a you know a restaurant there, but it doesn't look like there's much of a district of entertainment down there. But maybe this place right here. Just just looking at this vast, vast area outside my window. So big and so far. Uh, you know, this is stuff I do sometimes. If I have a good view, I'll just sit out and just look. I think I want to get some fries, so I'm gonna check by the pool of the restaurant downtown. 
There's a line outside the restaurant right here. I just want to get to go, so I'm not sure where, if I can just go in or whatnot, but I'll figure it out. Decided to leave the hotel and maybe go and find some fries. Actually walk into a barbecue restaurant, it's like 20 minutes walk or whatever. Uh, we'll see if I find anything along the way, but let's find some fries and maybe probably eat some barbecue. So uh, leaving the hotel here, I hear the electric slide over here. I don't see many people doing it, but they're playing it. Looks like there's uh, more people out there now, more people over here. A lot of people at the playground with the kids trying to get out. So this is my little walk towards the barbecue joint. I like seeing people about, but I wish they would all be, you know, wearing some more masks. But, you know, I'm sure they're gonna be safe, right? I guess that's the, the basketball arena where the Rockets used to do their thing, but James Harden's out of there. Um, pretty far walk to this barbecue joint, but I get to see another side of the city. You know, I like my cities and cities in the background. People driving their cars out here. There's, I get dare to say, nice cars. Decided to not go to that barbecue place. The area that I was in was kind of sketchy. Not necessarily, but I was on the phone and I was like, I don't know if I want to go all the way over there and come all the way back. So I'm making my way back to the city. I think I might go to Halal, guys. It says it's open. We'll see. About seven more minutes to walk there. A lot of people are still downtown, but I'm still on my mission for the fries. Let's walk seven more minutes. All right, so I'm in a part of town, that's loud, I know, with not that much going on, but it says the Halal guys is up here. I feel like it's gonna be closed, but I don't know. Google says nine, hopefully it's nine. I think I see it, to be honest. Just gotta cross the street, make my way over there. It is, the lights are all the way on. I don't see anybody, but I'm gonna try to, try to find the door to get in. We shall see. Cheese fries took a hot, hot minute. I was about to leave because these things were taking so long, but here they are. Hopefully they're really good. Look pretty good. No ranch, of course. No jalapenos. Crispy fries, cheese, yep. You got beef and bacon in this joint too, so it's meaty and filling. Back in the room and eating those fries, and those fries actually were not very good at all. The fries are kind of overcooked and dry and not much going on. I mean, the beef was cool. Back in the room now, still eating on them because those uh, the restaurant downstairs was busy. So I didn't go any there to get anything, but watching Zack Snyder's Justice League before I take a shower and go to sleep.